So how do you write emails that aren't just about your product or service, right? I mean, I'm no different. Our favorite subject is ourselves, right? Whether it's ourselves personally or our business, right? It's what we know the best and what we tend to talk about. But when we're communicating via email, we don't want to just constantly be talking to our subscribers and buyers about us, right? It just comes off me, 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 right? And we need to be thinking about them, Right. So that's the big part of this. But how do you translate that? Because it's easy to say, well, just make sure your emails are about them. But what do you actually do? Well, let me give you a couple of tips in just a second. First of all, I'm Adam Moody with Oasis Optimization. Uh, if you would like to talk about how to improve your e-commerce email marketing, you can get in touch with me at oasisoptimization.com. Now, let's get back to this and some actual tips on how to do this. Um, let's say, let's just take an example. Let's say you're selling coffee beans, all right? Lots of uh, businesses out there certainly doing that. So let's think about it from the point of view of the customer. Hopefully, if you're selling something, you've used it or you at least understand it very well. So let's think like, what else do coffee drinkers have interests about? Um, coffee makers, I think, comes to, line, right, or to mind. That's a, an easy one on my end. Um, perhaps they drink other beverages, right? Like maybe they drink tea as well. They like hot beverages. They have hot beverages. Maybe they want something to keep it in, right? They maybe have a mug. Maybe that's something they're interested in. Um, let's see if they're buying beans or yeah, if they're buying beans, then they're probably, uh, into maybe knowing how to brew a really good cup of coffee, right? Cause they're not drinking instant coffee. So maybe something about water temperature would be important. Um, if it's hot coffee, maybe they also though drink cold coffee. So maybe like cold brew kits. Um, let's see, chocolate covered coffee beans, grinders. Um, we can even then zoom out and say if you're local, maybe they're interested in breakfast places, right? If they're coffee drinkers, um, maybe Bailey's or something <laughs> that might just be me. Um, but how to make good coffee while they're camp camping or traveling, like if they're on the road, how can they uh, use your coffee beans? Uh, also maybe gifts, like how could they gift this to someone? Um, maybe buying in bulk, right? Whether maybe they run a business, um, or maybe they just drink a lot of coffee or they have a big family. Um, there's a lot that goes into this, right? And these are all pretty tightly focused still, and you can start to really go out from that, but just consider it from their point of view and what else they would be interested in that you can talk about via email and while still working your product in. So a lot of times, you know, this is just kind of a brain dump talking about coffee beans. But the question then I would ask if I were you is, well, how do you find this stuff out, right? Maybe you don't know uh, the business that well, or you don't know the industry, or you just got a, a brain block. And the first thing I always tell people is ask your customers, right? If you haven't done this recently, send out a survey or just send an email and say, hey, what else, you know, are you interested in? And you'll get some feedback. I, of course, would say maybe go a step further and actually send a survey and make it one question, you know, like what else, you know, would you like to know about? Or um, just what else is on your mind? Just make it open-ended so that they can give you their feedback in their own terms. You can, of course, uh, incentivize this perhaps with a drawing or a giveaway to really increase the amount of uh, replies, but keep it short, right? Uh, and just ask for that open feedback. Let them tell you in their own words and it's, pure gold and you'll uncover things that you never would have thought of, I guarantee it. So that's just a couple of ways to do this and turn this from kind of a conceptual, make it about them, uh, to actually how you can do it and then ways you can go about that. Just remember um, too, if you send out this survey and you get some great responses, that's awesome. Don't be the person who never does this again. You can do this um, at least quarterly. You could probably do this monthly. Again, just depends on your business, how it's set up. Just give it a shot. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the results you get back. And if, you know, uh, worst case, you get some great ideas. Uh, and, and actually, you could get as much as basically your entire content you ever have to write about. People are telling you what they want. So take this, run with it. If you ever have any questions about it, uh, you can get in touch with me at oasisoptimization.com.